Hi, I'm Jamie with Aya Food School and thank you for joining me in another episode of Garden Talk and today we're going to talk about planting garlic. It's very simple and it's very rewarding so I highly encourage you to try it even if all you have are containers. You can indeed plant garlic in containers and as I usually say gardening is 90% experimentation so what do you have to lose? Why not give it a shot? So a couple of things you need to know before planting your gar garlic is what kind of garlic you want and what kind of garlic grows in your region. Now there's a rule of thumb to think about if you don't know what zone you're in, hardiness zone or climate zone you're in, all you need to know is what type of grass grows around you. That's right. So if you have perennial rye grass or fescue grass, you can plant hardneck varieties of garlic. And what makes it a hardneck is if you look right here, this is a very hard neck of garlic. And it usually only grows about 12 cloves or so. And that's one variety you can grow. Now, if you have uh, live in a milder climate where it's milder in the winter, and let's say your turf areas have Bermuda grass, then you would grow a soft neck variety. And the soft neck variety is also called an artichoke style. And it has many more cloves and it has uh, an authentic Italian pungent flavor to it. Whereas the hard neck has a rich complex flavor. And another thing that's different about between the hard neck varieties and the soft neck varieties is that hard neck varieties grow the flower bulb at the top, which is called a garlic scape. And if you prune those garlic scapes off of your garlic shoots in say mid spring, that's when you'll probably start seeing them and grill them. They're very, they're delicious. You can put them in salads and um, salad dressings. They're, they're quite tasty and of course edible. So that's another difference between, gar between soft neck and hard neck varieties. So I recommend that you try different varieties no matter where you are. Of course, the colder you are, it's gonna be a little more struggle for the soft neck varieties to grow. But if you're in a greenhouse or something, you know, using containers or even raised beds in a greenhouse, which I've seen done, go for it and try different varieties. Variety is, after all, the spice of life. Also, another type of variety that you can try is elephant garlic. And elephant garlic are really large bulbs. I thought I had an elephant garlic because these are relatively large, but indeed, this is a my prize bulb from last year's crop and um, actually I should say this year's crop that I planted last year and I saved it for for one garlic clove for a delicious dish I made and then the rest is going to be planted and um, it is indeed a hard neck variety I thought perhaps it was going to be a elephant garlic because the cloves are so big it's just a really well grown hard neck variety so I'm stoked about having saved that one. It's the last of my of my crop. It's very easy to plant garlic. Uh, another thing you need to know is to have um, a nice bedding area with well-drained soil. And that's the big thing. It doesn't really need to be fertilized. It's good if it is. Um, adding compost to your growing areas is always recommended. And changing out the soil is always recommended because it whatever you grow in that soil will deplete the nutrient um, components within the soil. So you always want to freshen it up um, every time you're going to grow a new crop. Rotating crops is highly recommended. So if you were to grow onions in the bed, you wouldn't want to grow garlic in the same bed because it's from the same family. So rotate your crops. In this little bed that I have, um, I grew cucumbers and kale and some leafy greens so I um, feel pretty confident and I added some lime a couple of weeks ago to sweeten the soil and I added some compost to it so there's new nutrients that have been added to this little bed and I am just going to go for it and see what happens 
the worst thing that can happen as I lose a couple of bucks from and my garlic doesn't grow. Now you can get garlic seed and grow that way from nurseries and you can buy it online and stuff. You can also buy a garlic bulb from the store. However, it's highly recommended that it's organic because conventional garlic or even conventional produce is likely to have been sprayed with a growth and sprout inhibitor. So garlic, organic garlic or organic produce likely has not been sprayed with that chemical. So you'll have a better success rate. So indeed, I bought two bulbs of garlic from the grocery store, organic garlic from the grocery store, and we're gonna try that. Some people swear that it's not a good thing to do, but as I say, experimentation. It worked last year, chances are it'll work again, especially that I got such a, an amazing crop. It was an experimentation crop and it did very well. So I was stoked about that. So I'm gonna keep going with, you know, with what I know and see how it goes. So good luck to you as well. So let's get into actually planting the garlic. So as you can see, I've laid out these garlic about two inches away from each other, about a fist and about four inches between the rows. And some people would say that all you need to do is press them in as deep as they would go and that's it. Other people would say three to four inches deep. Whatever works for you, again, experimentation. Um, here's just a little weeder that I have and that's it. It's loose soil, well drained, and that's it. It's very simple. Um, you might question on whether you keep the skin on the garlic clove or peel it. You do keep the skin on. And the, this would be where the roots will grow. And this is where the shoot will grow. So that's very important. And also that's another thing to know in regards to planting your spring bulbs at this time of the year, which is it's now October, which is a great time to plant spring bulbs and your garlic. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant all of these. And this is basically three bulbs worth of garlic and see how that goes. And then I'll do a top dressing of straw. So I'll plant these and be right back. I love seeing the bees and I'm just not willing to cut down these sunflowers just yet, but the finished product of my garlic bed, my now garlic bed, which is only about 30 square feet. It's small but effective. And there's three full bulbs of garlic in there, which is a total of probably about 40 to 45 cloves of garlic that I can look forward to nurturing over the next few months for a harvest of next uh, late spring to mid summer. And also see that I top dressed it with straw. You don't want to top dress with hay um, because of the weed seed that is left in, in, in the hay that will go into your soil. And the one thing garlic really doesn't like is competition. So definitely make sure your garlic bed is finely weeded over time. Other than that, pretty simple. Leave questions and comments in the section below and I'd be happy to, to answer them. And I love hearing your own stories about what's going on in your garden. And that's it for today as far as how to plant garlic. I hope I answered your questions. Look for those garlic scapes in mid to late spring and add them to your grilling and to your salads, really good deal. And there is a video already made on how to prepare garlic scapes, so keep that in mind. Okay, thanks again for joining me here at Aya Food School. I'm Jamie, we'll see you next time with something else in the garden. Enjoy and enjoy your garden as you are. Have an abundant day.